this is what I mean by um, having a snow effect inside if you get the white interior it's just so bright um, the white seats just kind of just give you that snow effect where you're always wearing goggles or something because the sun is just kind of bouncing off the light of the, the white interior and also the uh, the white piece in front so you have that like kind of like blinding effect not like bad but just I think it's like it's kind of nice it's also kind of warming a little bit too um, and then the my theory on the white seats was you know uh, when it, with the sunroof basically you know the big monster sunroof the sun coming in during summer I live in Sacramento California and you know the white seats is gonna cut down on the heat I'm, I'm assuming versus black um, especially when you get inside but also you can set the temperature if you want to so it makes it a little bit better inside for you but that was my mentality on even getting the white seats as far as um, cost wise I think it's worth it um, the upkeep I mean I'm only two weeks in uh, probably, what, 15 days roughly um, into owning my Model Y standard range and uh, I really haven't had any issues uh, my niece was in here yesterday and she was jumping back there and messing around and with her boots and shoes and everything on the seat and she, you know, she got it dirty with like, you know, whatever dirt was on her shoe. But other than that, it's just made basically just wiping it down. Um, so the white seats are a plus to me. Um, again, if you can't um, see the extra cost of a thousand dollars from going back to white seats for the Model uh, Y and 3. I know the Model X and S, I think you have the base color option as well. But um, if you don't see the benefit or, or believe that it's, it's going to be an upgrade, then definitely just get the black. But um, I thought it was an instant upgrade when I got the white seats. Uh, you know, during the sun, I think you just kind of have to wear sunglasses because it is kind of bright in here. Uh, but I like it like this. So as far as interior, love it. Still have the piano black uh, console. Um, I just saw the for, uh, for the first time yesterday. Um, a Model Y is being delivered with the new headlights, so that's awesome. Um, so those are starting to probably start to trickle down soon, but definitely uh, worth getting, worth doing, worth upgrading. Um, again, it's your color combination. It's what you like, what you want. You want a black interior, you want a white. You want to get the basic white, or you want to go with the three different colors that cost a thousand, or you want to go to red. What are your plans after? You're gonna wrap it. You're gonna put PPF on it. You know all these things that you could do to it. Um, after the fact, so then if you're gonna wrap it, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna do a complete color? You can do satin on top, you're gonna highlight the color that you already have. So there's a lot of options um, that you can do with this vehicle inside and out. But I mean, the beautiful thing is, I haven't got gas since January 19th. It's now what, February 7th? It's Super Bowl Sunday, so whatever today is, um, I haven't looked at the date, but it's Super Bowl Sunday. Um, and I haven't got gas since that time. I physically have only paid three dollars and fifty-five cents to charge at a mall. Um, other than my smud bill, I haven't got that yet. Um, so I just think it's just an awesome thing. Every every day I, w I can wake up to a fully charged vehicle. Now, granted, yes, when I say fully charged, I mean like maybe ninety percent. But if you wanted to, you could charge it higher. You know, if you're going on a trip or something, but. Every morning, I can walk up to a fully charged vehicle, but based on if what I'm doing that next day, I might not charge for two or three days. My range is fine. Um, with COVID and everything, driving, um, I'm not driving as much. And with this Model Y standard range, getting max of 244 online, and actually the other day, um, I checked what my max was. Originally, when I first bought it, when I took a front delivery from Tesla, it said 225 at 100% which I was like, whoa, that's a little bit low. So after getting used to my driving and everything like that, it's now up, it was now up to 240. And then I just put new rims. Um, I had the 19 inch Gemini's and I put these 20 inch element rims on and it actually went up to 241. So that's a little odd. Um, and I'll have a, vi a different video on the, the wheels difference, but loving the Y. Um, definitely get it consider subscribing consider liking or disliking that's fine too um, leave a comment um, and if you are in debate on getting a, a tesla in general consider using my referral code um, we both get a thousand miles for supercharging 
But the main thing is uh, consider leaving your ICE car and getting a Tesla because you're going to love it. You're absolutely going to love it.